Hi, uh, my name is Hannah and I am a cellist with the Grand Rapids Symphony. I feel like I get asked relatively frequently, you know, what is your life like? What do you do on any given day as a musician? And so I wanted to create a video for you just to kind of give you an inside scoop as to what it's like to be a cellist in the Grand Rapids Symphony. So I'm going to do that for my day tomorrow. I'm going to give you a little day in the life of me. And right now it is 9.57 on Wednesday evening and I'm going to bed. <laughs> my day starts early tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Good morning, it is 5.23 a.m. and I need to go teach a 6 a.m. spinning indoor cycling class. Um, it's something I've been doing for a little over a year now and once a week on Thursdays I teach a 6 a.m. class. Kind of feels like I never even went to bed, it is so dark outside uh, and I have to be really peppy in like 40 minutes, so wish me luck. Um, I'm just glad I got to go to bed early last night, sometimes when there's rehearsal still 10 p.m. and then I have to be up in like seven hours. It's a little tough to make that quick turnaround. So anyway, um, I'm not going to take you to my spin class. I don't think that would be like a great idea <laughs> and I don't think it creates some great video, but I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Hi everyone. Uh, so it's eight o'clock in the morning and I am back from my spin class. Uh, oh goodness, my hair. <laughs> it's a little blustery outside today. Um, class is fun, and it's just, you know, it's a little early. Uh, thankfully, the 6 a.m. is only once a week, and on Saturdays at 8.30, it's a little bit more reasonable. So my little uh, weekly ritual for a little treat for myself for being up for almost, th you know, three hours at this point is I go have early breakfast at Bartertown Diner. It's a vegan restaurant just around the corner from me, so I get to walk there. Uh, they have a $5 early bird special for just amazing breakfast, and don't judge me, I'm totally going to eat it all. <laughs> Today I'm going to go to Jenison Public Schools to teach, and more on that later. Um, but in this little interim that I have before I have to leave for there, I need to practice. <laughs> Uh, we have Fantasia this week, so that's on my docket. Uh, it's actually something where I'm going to need to practice a, a fair bit, and of course I have rehearsals today, so I need to come prepared. Where, you know, a lot of it is going to be syncing up with the movie, and we only have two rehearsals, and they're both today. First show is tomorrow. So I need to have everything well learned, and we're doing some tough music on this program. <laughs> So it is 9.47 and I'm on my way to Jenison High School. I ordinarily see 11 students in a row on Thursdays. Um, I teach all of my Jenison students, typically today, um, but because we have two GRS rehearsals today rather than just the evening rehearsal, I have to cut my day a little bit short and I'm only seeing seven today and I will go back tomorrow and see my remaining students. Uh, teaching check <laughs> a bridge day is that crossed off my to-do list for today. Um, so now I'm going to rehearsal. I, I wish I'd been able to like film a lesson and put that in here, but I just feel like some parents might not want their kids to be filmed. I mean, I can't imagine this is going to get a whole lot of exposure in this, this little video I'm making. But at the same time, I want to be sensitive to parents' wishes and all that stuff. Um, so I just have to take my word, I guess, that I taught seven students today. And now it's time for rehearsal. It's a really gloomy day today, and I think I'll uh, I'll get there with some time to spare. It's uh, two fifty-seven right now, and rehearsals at three forty-five. I think this means there's uh, possibly a little Starbucks <laughs> excursion in my future. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's one rehearsal down, one to go. Uh, as expected, that was a relatively taxing rehearsal. We're having to be very uh, on the ball with going faster, going slower, very responsive to what John uh, Verno, the conductor this week, is doing. So it takes a lot of concentration. I admit that I'm feeling a little bit drained. Uh, but I'm able to pop home for dinner for a few minutes. It's 6.28, so I guess I've got you know, a little over half an hour to eat here. I just heated up some leftovers from home uh, that I made yesterday. So I'm I'm pretty hungry since I haven't eaten a full meal since breakfast, and it'll be nice. And if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do. <laughs> oh, holy cow! <laughs> Second rehearsal is done, so my work day is officially done today. Um, that feels nice. I'm really grateful that tomorrow I have way more time to practice. I just have to you know, finish up the students that I would have ordinarily seen today, um, but I'll see them tomorrow. But then in the morning, in the afternoon, I'm just I'm going to spend some quality time with my cello, uh, not just for this weekend's concerts, which I'm definitely going to do. Um, there's always improvements that can be made. Um, but I also do have a solo concert coming up. I just need to, you know, stay strong in my own cello playing, so I'm going to play some scales and etudes and all that good stuff. Thank you for joining me today and for keeping me company today. I feel like if there's any one takeaway from your, uh, your joining me for my day today is uh, when you have a group of musicians in your community like an orchestra, uh, you're just you are having in your city or wherever you are a group of people who can't help but share their passions for music and their dedication to the art. And I guess we just hope that you value that in, in wherever you, you are. Um, we value always the community support and there is no music really for us without an audience uh, and we just hope that that's valuable to all of you guys. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, and I'll see you later.